Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, gonna be a quick one today. I just wanted to go over the hurricane situation and uh, basically let you guys know that, you know, shit hit the fan is so subjective, you know. For one person, shit hitting the fan could be them losing their job or, you know, a major weather event like this, you know, hurricane, a tornado, earthquake, you know, volcanic eruption, something like that, or your house burning down, something like that. When people talk about shit hit the fan, it's not always roving gangs of, you know, violent, you know, Nazi zombies or anything like that. It doesn't have to be anything super ultra crazy. It's basically your own version of whatever it is. <clears throat> Excuse me. And if other people are going through it, then, you know, you... you need to build a community and you need to, you know, make sure that your neighbors are taken care of, you know, obviously take care of yourselves first, but make sure that your community is in a place that, you know, you're not going to be looting your neighbors and your neighbors aren't going to be looting you. Um, there's a lot of that going around right now. Uh, I've heard from many different people and seen many different posts online that unfortunately, you know, there's looting going on, there's stealing, there's it's it's really tragic, but the the smell of death is in the air because there are a lot of decomposing human beings, unfortunately. Um, this was a really bad one, and uh, I do have to say, you know, it took our federal government quite a while to kind of step up and, you know, do what they needed to do and get down there. I've heard that there is some response from, like, FEMA and all that. I've seen a lot more private stuff. Uh, anybody that watches the Cletus McFarlane YouTube channel, um, he's down there, you know, long lining supplies wherever he can, you know, so, so good on him for that. And I hope that anybody who watches this channel watches that channel, you know, there's a good bunch of people over there. Um, and kudos to them. You know, I'm sure they don't want any kind of recognition or anything for it. They're just doing what's right, but still, you know, a, a pat on the back to them. That's a really cool thing. So have your supplies, have things ready to go. You know, it doesn't need to be anything crazy. You know, some extra band-aids, you know, you definitely want to have, you know, a weapon or a couple of weapons, some ammunition to go with them. I would say a box of 50 is not nearly enough. You want to have more than you need for anything. You want to have more band-aids than you're going to need, more rice, more, you know, shelf-stable food, more water, um, a couple of backup flashlights. I'm just using this as representative stuff. You don't want to have, you know, your house bogged down by, you know, oh, I have a room full of ammo, a room full of food, and a room full of band-aids, you know. Definitely do it to where you see fit, but you don't want to be caught, you know, with your pants down, so to speak. You really want to have enough preparation, enough time, you know, that, okay, all I have to do if a hurricane is coming my way, I got to bring a couple of, you know, my basil plants, my tomato plants, I'm going to bring those all inside. I'm going to take the patio furniture and the grill and kind of shove them off into the corner, tie them down, and, uh, you know, put my car a little closer to the house so that it, you know, if it hails or whatever, it just doesn't get as damaged. I know it's going to get damaged. It is what it is. Nothing I can do about it. Basically, you want to stop as much damage and as much bad things happening as humanly possible. But if there's a wall of water coming down, you know, the, the, the road, because the creek has now turned into a river that basically knocked a bridge out, there's not a whole lot you can do about that. You're going to have to go out onto the roof or go upstairs or do whatever you got to do and just ride it out. And unfortunately, most of these people, you know, they ended up on the roof. And I heard a story tragic about a family that ended up on the roof. The roof collapsed and three out of the four people ended up dying. And uh, it's just really upsetting. It's really sad to see. And uh, I hope they can get as much help as humanly possible down there. And... Um, you know, I hope those people are going to be okay. You know, this is like Hurricane Katrina, you know, back when I was a kid. And it's just tough. It's tough to see. It's tough to, you know, look at those articles and see, you know, the children are dying, you know, elderly people, all this kind of stuff. It's just really, really bad stuff. So uh, that's it for this video. Just wanted to say, you know, check up on your preps. Check up on, you know, what you have just in case something does happen. Like I said, it doesn't have to be a weather event. It doesn't have to be a political event. It could be your own personal version of the shit hitting the fan. It doesn't have to be under any definition whatsoever. So that's all I got for you today, guys. Have a good one.